Take charge of your actions. Take charge of your actions. There are usually two creations. One is the vision, the mental creation. It's like having a blueprint for a home. You determine what is the vision for the house. And then there is the second creation, and that's actually bringing it into manifestation. Isn't that what the book of Genesis says about the creation? First, God saw it in mind, and then God created it, right? I mean, that's a metaphor, and I don't believe that's literal, obviously. We're on, it's taken million, billions of years for the whole thing to manifest. But metaphorically, God created it first in thought and then in manifestation. And the same is true for us. You get your vision, but then you need the discipline, which is a word that means a disciple to, to be discipled to someone or to be discipled towards something that's important to you. Discipline. To be a disciple toward. When you have a vision that's important to you, then it requires discipline to bring it forth. It requires us to take responsibility for our actions in order to bring this thing from the metaphysical, from the realm of ideas, into the physical. taking charge of our actions, doing something that moves us in the direction of bringing that vision forth into manifestation every single day. I've spoken on it before. It's called eat that frog. One of the great practices is first thing in the day, the first thing to do is to do something to help bring that vision forward before there are distractions, before you get pulled away into something else or you feel rushed or hurried and so you don't uh, ever get back to that thing that's important. Take some steps to move you in the direction of your vision. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos and content every week to inspire and empower you on your spiritual journey. We look forward to seeing you again soon.